YouTubers, it's RV Debs. I got a little gift in the mail today, and I thought I would share that with you. It came from Amazon. I'm always excited. I had no clue. You know, this is just a surprise gift. And it is a gift. And it is, let's see. This is my friend Steve, and he sent me, he said, Hi, hi, RB Debs, this is for your Bulletproof Coffee. Should save some time. So sweet. I love it. So, he sent me, and I'm going to open it with you guys. This is a premium milk frothing picture, pitcher. Cool. Let's look at it. I think it's fun. Oh, I just love it. Wow. Beautiful little thing. I've certainly been enjoying my coffee. My bulletproof coffee. It's really pretty. Wow. Sparkly. Very nice. A little, a little pitcher. I guess you froth your the milk, the cream uh, in it, and it's easy to, easy to do. I'm going to do that. And also Steve sent me a uh, professional milk, milk frother. Because I have an emulsifier, but it, it's this looks much easier, much easier. And, and I've got a bunch. He sent me batteries. So I won't need batteries. Let me let me get it out of the box. Thanks, Steve. I really appreciate it. How sweet of you to think of me. Oh, nice and light, easy, nice and small, which is good. And um, that way you can just froth, froth, froth. Top your coffee. Oh yeah. That is so nice. How thoughtful of you. Thank you. With a bunch of batteries, which I always use. Energizer. Thank you, Steve, from the bottom of my heart. I loved it. I love it. And I will be using it. I sure will. That's a promise. Wow. Well, thanks again. I am. I just love my subscribers. I have the world's best bunch of people. And it is uh, just fantastic. So that's great. This is really pretty. I love it. And it's really good for traveling. It's a good travel size. You can always have it with you wherever you go. I am going to um, go over to Cat and Mark's and uh, visit with them. And, uh, sh well, they know I got this. They get all excited. That's why I opened it. Because they're like, Who? what'd you get? What'd you get? It's like, my God, yay. Yeah, things are good. And um, it is, what is it? It is Tuesday. It's Tuesday around just before 3 p.m. Gonna go take a shower and gonna, uh, I, I put my groceries, most of my groceries put away. I have some veggies. I bought uh, fresh broccoli and uh, I got a bunch of really healthy food and good stuff. So I am definitely working on this low calorie, not low calorie, low carb. Um, I don't think it's really keto because keto is very strict and I'm doing more just low carb. I've gotten rid of sugar, which is my downfall, definitely. And I also got bread that's only 60 calories, all uh, organic, which is also a, a good thing for me. Um, but... I bought some chicken and I got some frozen, um, a, a meal, a pro, high protein. I, I'll have to show it to you guys. I got a couple of really good things. I also got another, a riced cauliflower that's got, um, like tomatoes mixed in with herbs and garlic. Nice thing to eat. Um, I did get two oranges. There are times when I just feel like I need some citrus. So, yeah, that's, it's, it's a better choice than, you know, junk food. And I'm just happy. I feel really happy right now. 
and it's good to feel happy because uh, you know we only have today um, and I for today it's been a good day yes it has so I will talk to you guys a little later uh, I'm gonna go like I said and visit my friends and I'm gonna take a shower and maybe later take do a live stream I don't know yet but anyway I've gotten a lot of really nice compliments on my um, my new top with my little jacket or whatever it's called um, it's called a uh, <laughs> just a comfortable you know wrap a nice little cozy wrap I really like it and I've got a lot of nice compliments thank you guys for letting me know you liked them and I'm hoping to do some more of those kind of things I don't normally like pose and stand up and do full body but I want to get I want to get to the point where I do do that why not this is who I am you know like me or not like me it's okay that's fine um, I will be talking with you guys soon I'm sure this is not the end of the video so we be back soon okay this is dinner for tonight I thought I'd just share what I'm doing because <clears throat> it looks pretty good um, this is um, spaghetti squash, I mean not spaghetti squash, acorn squash noodles. And I had a bag of frozen shrimp, which I just um, defrosted by running cool water for a few minutes over them with an onion and mushrooms, olive oil, a little bit of butter, and um, I'm letting it, it's all pretty much ready. But I used this. I get it at Walmart, it's really good. I also used, this is something that is very popular in the area, and it's, um, well, let's see if I can get it to focus, but it's T-A-G-I-N, it has a very lemony flavor, um, let's see what it says. Ingredients is uh, chili peppers, sea salt, dehydrated lime juice, um, and that's it. It's very lime juicy flavored. And that's, I put some of that, I put some turmeric in it too. And this is dinner. And I'm hungry because I really haven't eaten much today. And I'm ready for a nice, healthy, yummy meal. That's what I just wanted to show to you because it looks good and I'm going to enjoy it and I thought I'd just let you guys see what I was so what do you want Lily really? what do you want are you looking at the cookies didn't you just have dinner you did you had turkey for dinner yup you did mommy Mary's turkey Mm, there's Rosie. She said, I'm oh, I'm kind of chilly tonight. It's cold, brr. It's going to get down into the 30s. I think it's close to that now. And the wind. Ugh. Let's hear it. She's a beggar. I don't think so, Lily. You've had plenty. Lily. Hey, I'm talking to you, girl. What do you want? Gets it in her mind. There's like cookies right up there. In that drawer, in there, there's some over there. Lily? <laughs> Lily, come here. 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 Get up here. Come sit with mommy. No, you're not going to get any more cookies. The cookies are off until maybe tomorrow. Jesus, trip. Tell me all about it. Really? Tell Mama. Tell Mommy all about it. Really? What else? What do you got? What do you need? Hey, tell me. No, you can't get that. I know she's pointing her face right in the corner where the stuff is. Listen to me. Listen. Come here. Lily. Okay. Go lay down. 
<laughs> Man. I'm not giving you any more. Good morning, YouTubers, friends, and family. RV Debs here. It is now Wednesday, and it is 10.30 a.m. I have an 11 o'clock. Um, I'm doing a study with my two good friends, and uh, so i got to get over there. I also am um, meeting Kat and Mary for lunch at Hole in the Wall, which is where we really enjoy their uh, hamburgers. And um, all I've had today is some uh, bulletproof, po uh, bulletproof coffee, and that should hold me till about one, and that's when we're meeting. And I'll break my fast with probably a juicy hamburger today, I, I gotta tell you. That's the place to get it. So, I feel like I'm doing a lot better. As a matter of fact, I feel thinner. And <clears throat> no matter what, when I eat good, and I've been doing this for a couple weeks, I start having more energy and I am a lot more positive. So, um, yeah, I mean, it feels good. It really does. And I was so glad when I went to the doctor's office that I had lost three and a half pounds since April. I mean, since August, last August. I know I had gained weight during the holidays, so this diet might have taken away whatever I gained. I don't know, but I'm glad it's, I'm glad I'm doing it finally. And I even saw, you know, in Facebook, they give you memories of what you were doing. And last year, exactly this time, was I was sharing a keto breakfast with everybody. It's kind of funny. So this is the time of year to get it together because I've got some plans that this spring, God willing... I want to do some traveling and have some fun and have energy. And that's my goal, just to put myself together. Um, I am I'm ready. So, <clears throat> it's perfect timing, really. I thought, you know, I wanted to go to the RTR, which is uh, in Arizona. A lot of RVers meet lots and lots of people. But I'm really kind of glad I didn't do that because, well, first of all, things happen for reasons. And... Uh, I don't think it, it didn't seem to me like such a pleasant one because Arizona, the weather there was kind of cold and then they had rain and muddiness and all that. Maybe it just wasn't meant to be. So I think this spring is going to be a humdinger. I am going to make some great memories. And um, I want to make a shout out to, uh, well, I already did probably in this video, but I want to shout out to Steve who sent me the... Um, bulletproof coffee little stainless steel pitcher and then the little emulsifier that's battery operated it's got a little stand i love it i've used it twice so thank you again for thinking of me i love getting presents from my friends and uh it's you know this having a channel like this really does open me up to be meeting such wonderful people and I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Okay, off to uh, my little Bible study with my girlfriends. And I'll talk to you from the road. I am off to go to Laura's house. That's the lady that has the ranch with hundreds of cows. That's their business. Her and her husband. Nice, the nicest people. I mean, there's so many wonderful people here. Small town. I, I never lived in a small town before this. Not really. Not like this. And, um, yeah, I've met some great people, but it's taken a little while. Yeah, I didn't think I was ever going to, you know, have anybody to be my friend besides Kat. But uh, now I have two really good lady friends. Three, actually. I have um, Laura, I have Michelle, and Ellen. So I'm, I'm grateful. And I think that's the key word in life, you know, is um, to be grateful. That's for sure. We are almost to a little town called O'Brien, which is really just like three miles from my, my little town. It doesn't take long to get anywhere, really. Unless you're going to the, quote, big city. Then it's an hour. She lives like five miles 
in, uh, down the country road. Down the country road, road. Yep. They have a cotton gin here, so you can see cotton all over the place. I think that's what I'm allergic to, is the cotton, the cotton gins. I don't know what they do, but... <laughs> Lots of cotton everywhere flying around. Okay. Five miles down the road. The black cows are in Black Angus. That's, I'm learning a little bit. I don't know much about it, but that's one of the things I know. Turning into their to their uh, ranch, I stayed here for a uh, night, one just one night when they were out of town to watch to feed their dogs. They got the three cutest dogs, except for my dogs. Lots of cows, lots of moo moo moos. Okay. Okay. I had a very nice hour and a half with uh, my three friends. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you, Michelle. It's such a blessing to have nice ladies to uh, spend time with, to get to know really well. Friendship's really important to me. Always has been. I am rich with a nice friends. lunch with Mary and Kathy. And I am headed back home for a little quiet time with the dogs. It was really a nice lunch. I hadn't had any breakfast. All I had was Bulletproof coffee, which is really good for me and it can hold me to eat until like you know several hours so I've had all the carbohydrates I'm gonna have for the day that's for sure but life is for enjoying and I did enjoy my lunch <laughs> it's nice it's nice to be busy doing things for sure I'm looking forward to going home now and um, just you know chilling watching a little TV take the dogs out again maybe play some I play bingo online on Facebook and um, I don't know whatever whatever but I hope you have enjoyed this uh, video. It's just the day in a life you're living in this small town in Texas, but I love it. And um, I'm just glad you guys are all coming along with me in my life. It's, it's, a, it's a, a, a beautiful thing to share. And I get a lot of lovely comments. And I get comments all kinds. And the one thing that I, I got a couple comments. Of course, they were not nice people the way they put it. But um, the chickens, first of all, the chickens are getting older. They've done well. I love the chickens. I do. I've always loved them. They're not my chickens. They're Kathy and Mark's chickens. I didn't pay for the chickens. I help take care of them occasionally and give them, you know, veggies that are left over or whatever. But that's it. Um, it's not my decisions to be made. And it is part of living in the country and of people. I mean, you go to the store and there's chickens that you buy to eat. And those chickens lived and breathed. And, and you know, um, we're going to give these chickens to a farm. That's all I know. I don't really want to know any more about it. It does, it's nothing to do with what I have control of. 
And new baby chickens takes about six months before they do produce eggs. And so, you know, it's not gonna happen this week, but when it does happen, it's like, I, I think it's like, when I first got here, I could not imagine, you know, having chickens and then they go away. And whether they, whether they wind up you know, being just chickens running wild, you know, free range on someone's farm for the rest of their days, or whether they go into a soup pot. It's, that hasn't got anything to do with me. When I first got here, I didn't like to think about it. But it is life. It's just life. And, um, you know, I, I have, like I say, I have really have nothing to do about when or how. I didn't buy the chickens. and I, I, You know, they're not mine. But, I mean, I call them my chickens because they live there. And it's like, you know, that's how it is. But anyway, I thought I'd tell you that. Give you add that to it. Um, it's just the, the story about life, and especially living in the country. And, you know, that's just what happens. Anyway, I do appreciate each and every one of you. Please give me a thumbs up. Thank you.